welcome to this class so today yesterday in the last class we have discussed about this uh, drag line mining how the drag line works in open cast mines and uh, how the drag line is operated in the open cast mines and we have also discussed about the drag line bucket how it is being used for dragging the material and uh, we have discussed also the boom length of the drag line which is responsible for transportation of material from the from the uh, overburden bench to the decoled area and we have also seen where the drag line can be applied in open cast mining so uh, next we discussed about the in pit crossing and conveying system in pit crossing and conveying system so we have seen that uh, uh, for adopting the conveyor system you have to go for uh, crossing the material in the pit itself which is called your in pit crossing and conveying system so in the in pit crossing and conveying system the, the material will be loaded uh, and it will be taken to the crossing in pit crosser in the pit itself there is a movable crosser is there where the material will be taken and after that the material will be crossed to the required size and after that only it can be conveyed by the conveyor system by belt conveyor system so the in the case of in pit crossing and conveying system haulage and transportation is done effectively by the help of the belt conveyor system so after uh, these materials are conveyed to the processing plant or to the coal washing plant so in pit crossing and conveying is used in the mines wherever you want that the conveyor system should be adopted for transportation of the material uh, because if you are going for if you are going uh, for uh, conveyor transportation then you have to cross the material to the required size otherwise um, uh, otherwise it will not be possible to convey the materials so the in pit crossing and conveying system is uh, very much uh, uh, needed whenever you want to go for uh, adopting the belt conveyor system so why you want to go for belt conveyor system because we have seen that the truck haulage system the dumper consumes lot of uh, fuel diesel which is very very costly and uh, uh, you also need uh, uh, the dumper operators dumper helpers and you also need number of dumpers so the cost of dumper transportation will be very very high so to mitigate that problem you can adopt the belt conveyor system transportation for transportation of the material minerals belt conveyor system can be used so if you are going to use the belt conveyor system it can be operated electrically electrically it can be operated so that uh, the um, there will be no need of fuel or diesel and it will be less costly and only one person can operate the belt conveyor system and belt conveyor system is a continuous mode of transportation continuous mode of tra transportation so more material can be transported from one place to other place whereas the dumper conveying uh, dumper haulage system is a discontinuous process uh, after the dumper is loaded the dumper has to go to the dumping place 
uh, and after dumping the material, the dumper will come empty. The, uh, after dumping the material, the dumper will come back again to the pit with the empty uh, uh, dumper. So that is why it is a discontinuous method of uh, transportation, whereas the belt conveyor system is a continuous mode of transportation and less manpower is necessary, less power consumption is necessary because it is electrically operated. So this is the advantage of using the belt conveyor system. But uh, to adopt the belt conveyor system, uh, you have to cross the materials to the required size because the belt conveyor system cannot take boulders. So uh, boulders, if you load the boulders on the belt conveyor system, then belts will be damaged. So for that purpose, you have to go for in-pit crossing uh, method. So th there are various type of crossers used in the pit, movable crossers and fixed crossers in the pit to cross the material to the required size. After that only, the belt conveyor system will convey the materials. So this is called the in-pit crossing and conveying system. So let us see uh, this in-pit crossing and conveying system, uh, how it is being adopted in the mines. Okay, so, <clears throat> But uh, the uh, this uh, input crossing and conveying system uh, is uh, adopted in the mines uh, for that purpose. So next, uh, so what is input crosser conveyor technology? What is input crossing and conveying technology? So uh, in the case of input crossing and conveying system. What is to be done? Uh, the drilled and blasted overburden. The drill after drilling, the material will be blasted. So the overburden material after drilling, the overburden will be blasted, and it is to be loaded by the sawels and transported by the dumpers to the crossers. So uh, the, there is a crosser plant is there or crosser unit is there in the pit. So after drilling and blasting by the help of a, a shovel and dumper, the material will be taken, the overburden material will be taken to the crossers. Then after the material is crossed, uh, overburden, uh, the crossed overburden is then transported by a series of belt conveyors into a spreader for dumping. So uh, the process of input crossing and conveying technology uh, deals with like this. First, you have to drill the holes. After that, the overburden material will be blasted. And after the material is blasted, by the help of a shovel, you load the material to the dumpers, and the dumpers will carry the uh, material, transport the material to the crossers. Then, after that, the crosser will cross the overburden to the required size. And after that, uh, it will be loaded to the uh, belt conveyor system and uh, the belt will transport the material uh, into a spreader so the so that the overburden material can be spread um, on the dump site on the dump site there is a spreader is there so the material can be spreaded on the dumping yard so in the case of input crossing technology so you need a drill machine after that, uh, explosives will be ne explosives will be needed for blasting the overburden. After that, a shovel will be there. The shovel will load the blasted uh, rock uh, into the dumpers. Then the dumpers will transport the material to the crossers, and the crosser will cross the overburden material to the required size. After that, after crossing, it will be loaded to the conveyors and the, the conveyors, the belt conveyors will transport and load to the spreaders 
and the sprayer will spread the material in the dumping yard. So this is the process of in pit crossing and conveying technology. This technology can be used in steep seams where uh, laying of transport routes for the trucks is very difficult. You know that uh, whenever the steep gradient will be encountered, so the dumpers cannot take the material from the bottom of the pit to the top of the pit because of the gradient, because of the inclination of the hull roads. So therefore, for steep coal seams, uh, where uh, the rocks cannot be used, you have to adopt the in pit crossing and conveying technology by the can be transported to the surface. So also this in pit crossing and conveying technology can be used uh, while the stripping ratio indicates volumes. While stripping ratio indicates volumes, cutoff ratio indicates depth and reflects in dumper haulage cost, which increase with depth and may become prohibitive where in alternative haulage system may have to thought of. So you know that the stripping ratio is the ratio of volume of overburden handle to get one ton of mineral. If the stripping ratio increases, volume of overburden increases, then cutoff ratio also indicates with depth. As you go down and down, the cutoff ratio also increases, stripping ratio also increases, and uh, it will be difficult for you to adapt the dumper haulage system. If you use the dumper haulage system, it will be very, very costly. So, uh, and your aim is to minimize the cost. So to minimize the cost, uh, uh, whenever the depth of mining is more, then you have to find out some other method of haulage system. So this some other method of haulage system is your belt conveyor system. So you have to add up the belt conveyor haulage system, transporting system. So if you are going to choose the belt conveyor system, then you have to cross the material in the pit itself, which is called your in pit crossing and can conveying, conveying technology, in pit crossing and conveying technology. So this method is ideally suitable where material has to be transported over a longer distance and a high lift. So this uh, method of transportation by the help of the belt conveyor system is very much suitable for the material which is to be transported for a longer distance. Not only the long the distance is long, but for higher lift also, means vertical lift also can be uh, a, 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 a advantageous if you are going to add up the uh, conveyor system. Even up to 45 degree angle of inclination, the belt conveyor systems can be run. And uh, beyond 45 degree uh, can also be run, but with a covered belt conveyor system with the pipe belt conveyor system. So this is the advantage of in pit crossing and conveying technology, your cost of uh, transportation will be very less compared to the dumper haulage system. So uh, this sir, in pit, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. yes, hello. Sir, what is cutoff ratio? Cutoff ratio uh, here, uh, stripping ratio you, we have discussed in the previous yes, classes that is the volume of overburden material handled to get one ton of mineral that is called your stripping ratio. So the cutoff ratio indicate cutoff ratio is the uh, um, break even ratio. Cutoff ratio indicates the break even stripping ratio. Cutoff ratio is nothing but the 
break even uh, stripping ratio where the cost of mining the cost of mining uh, uh, here cost of mining will come into picture the cost of mining will be equal to the selling price of the mineral so uh, cut off ratio means your break even ratio where the uh, uh, where the selling price of the mineral will be equal to the um, uh, your cost of mining so if you go deeper cut off ratio indicates for at a point at a certain depth you will come to know that beyond that depth it is not economical so cut off ratio indicates economic stripping ratio also cut off ratio is also indicates the economic stripping ratio it is also related to break even stripping ratio there are various type of stripping ratios are there like your overall stripping ratio cut off stripping ratio or economic stripping ratio or the uh, break even stripping ratio uh, so th this cut off ratio is one of the ratio which reflects the economic of your mining operations economy means you should get profit so whenever you are going for mining so whatever minerals you are getting you should sell it in the market to get the profits so if you are not getting the profits means uh, it is not mineable or it is not viable it, economically it is not viable so the cut off ratio indicates uh, the uh, break even stripping ratio and economic stripping ratio. it is related to money how much money you are getting after selling the material in the market that is called your cut off ratio so you know that uh, different minerals have having also cut off grade the uh, cut off grade um, uh, some minerals may be high grade minerals some minerals may be low grade minerals so the low uh, so there is a cut off grade so if the mineral is below the cut off grade you cannot go for mining because uh, you will not get enough money by selling in the market so uh, similarly if the grade is very high you will get more profit if the grade is very low you will get less profit so the, uh, from there also yeah, the cut off uh, uh, cut off value is determined for every mineral there is a cut off grade is there so below that cut off grade if you are going for mining it will not be economical so this is all about this cut off ratio okay so this uh, uh, in pit crossing and conveying technology uh, uh, is very uh, much uh, in need in the mining industry nowadays because haulage costs have been an area that have risen significantly with the increase of diesel prices as i have told so if you are going to adopt the truck haulage system the dumper haulage system then what will happen the cost of haulage will be very high it will rise very significantly because of the increase in the diesel prices the petroleum products are very costly diesel is very costly and if you are using the dumpers trucks they will consume huge amount of diesel and diesel is very costly because of that reason the cost of haulage will increase very significantly so that is the reason why you want to go for in pit crossing and mm, conveying mm, technology mm. in pit crossing and conveying technology so the conveyor technology the conveyor uh, transportation technology is very very cheap very cheap method of conveying the material because it is electrically operated bell conveyors are electrically operated and you know that the electricity is cheaper than diesel that is why you want to go for in pit crossing and conveying technology 
because uh, if you are adopting, if you are going to adopt this bell conveyor system, then you have to cross the material to the required size. Then there is one alternative to reduce the haulage cost is to shorten the truck haul distance by bringing the dump point into the pit using an in-pit movable crosser and conveying the overburden out of the pit can reduce the haulage cost. So to reduce the haulage cost, transportation cost, so there is one alternative uh, is there which is called your in-pit crossing technology. So in the in-pit crossing technology, uh, there is one alternative to reduce the haulage cost. Uh, how to shorten the truck haulage distance. So the truck uh, haulage distance should be reduced by bringing the dumping point into the pit using an in-pit movable crosser, in-pit movable crosser. And after the material is crossed, the um, uh, material is crossed. After that, it will be loaded to the belt conveyor system. The overburden will be loaded to the belt conveyor system to take it out from the pit to reduce the haulage cost. So, uh, some distance, uh, only a short distance, you should uh, use the truck haulage system. And after the material is crossed, in the crossing plant, the material should be co conveyed by the help of a belt conveyor system to, to reduce the co haulage cost. So this is the advantage of belt conveyor system, the infield crossing system. So also when the gradient is very steep, as I have told, if you are going down and down into the open cast mines, so the gradient will also be become very steep. The gradient will be steep. So you know that if the gradient is very steep, the trucks cannot go up. The trucks cannot, uh, the loaded trucks, the loaded dumpers cannot go up the mine in the uh, very steep roads. So uh, dumping the material within the mine is not practicable. You cannot dump the uh, overburden material within the mining area because the dumped overburden slides the dumped overburden slides onto the coal face it will come it will slide downwards and it will cover the coal face in such cases in pit crossing is very much necessary you have to go for in pit crossing and conveying technology whenever the gradient is very very steep whenever the gradient, road gradient, hall gradient is very, very steep. It is difficult for you to use the dumpers for the transportation purpose. And also dumping the material within the mining leads, within the mining area is not practicable because the dumped overburdens may slide onto the coal phase. So in such cases, in pit, crossing and conveying technology is preferred. So the flow of material, the flow of material utilizing an input movable crosser and conveyor system starts with overburden material being dumped into crossers by the dumpers. So how it is being done? First you drill the material, after that blast the material, after that the uh, shovel will load the material to the dumpers and the dumpers will carry the material to the crossers to cross the material to the required size. After crossing, after the material is crossed, it is fed onto the horizontal transfer belts. After crossing the materials, the crossed material is fed to the horizontal transfer belt conveyor systems within the pit inside the pit or directly onto a major upslope belts, taking the material out of the pit. To take the material out of the pit, you will have a belt conveyor system so that the material will go up and away from the mine 
and you can dump the material in the dumping yard. So there may be one or more belt systems may be there depending on the pit geometry and depth. You can have one or more belt systems depending on the pit geometry and depth at what depth you are mining and what is the size of the pit? What is the size of the pit? The conveyed material, whatever material you are going to convey, the conveyed material is dumped as per the requirement and the dump design by using the spreaders. So after the material is conveyed, it is fed to a spreader, a spreading machine, where the overburden will be spreaded on the surface for reclamation purpose. So this is the technology which is called your input crossing and conveying technology. So the uh, input crossing and conveying technology can be used in steep seams. It can be used in steep seams where laying up transport roads for the trucks is very, very difficult. If the coal seam is very steep, so the hull roads will be very steeper and you cannot go for truck haulage system. So therefore, uh, the input crossing technology is to be adopted, which is ideally suitable for large capacity projects. If the project is very big project, lot of mineral is there, whole reserve is very much is there, life of the mine is very big, uh, life of the mine is also large, then in that case, this in-pit crossing conveying technology can be suitably applied in the project. Also, the in-pit crossing conveying technology is suitable where material has to be transported over a large distance with huge lift. So this is the advantage of in-pit crossing conveyor technology it can be trans the material can be transported for a longer distance by the help of the belt conveyor system and not only the longer distance it can be also transported with huge lift lift means gradient inclination the belt inclination inclination of the belt conveyor can go up to 45 degree so uh, even beyond 45 degree also you can transport the material with some special uh, type of belt conveyor systems. Okay, so th this is the methodology, technology of your input crossing and conveying technology. And also the other advantage of input crossing conveying technology, you need less capital. You require, uh, sorry, um, sorry, for belt conveyor system requires huge capital investment. That is why uh, the deposit should be very big. The deposit should be very big. Life of the mine should be very uh, long. Then only you can invest the capital for laying of the belt conveyor system and for purchase of the uh, crosser. Uh, the transport cost will be much less. In this case, if you are adopting the in-pit crossing and conveying technology, transport cost will be very less, much less than compared to the shovel dumper combination. Compared to the shovel dumper combination, transport cost will be very less in the case of a belt conveyor system because we have seen that the dumpers, they consume huge amount of diesel and diesel is very very costly so also you need number of dumpers you need number of drivers you need number of helpers for operating the shovel dumper combination of mining okay so this is the advantage you are going to age and get if you are using the input crossing conveying technology because the trans transportation cost will be less in the conveyor system. Also, in the case of input crossing and conveying technology, uh, it requires heavy equipment like your crossers. You have to purchase the crossing units, crossers, conveyor distribution point, 
and spreaders. So these are the three important machines you are going to purchase. One crosser, one conveyor and one spreader to spread the material for reclamation purpose. So this is the technology which is called your input crossing and conveying technology. So here you can see uh, in uh, uh, Ramangundam open cast project 2 in Singrenikali Ridge in Andhra Pradesh, they are adopting the input crossing and conveying technology. This is the mine which is situated in Ramangundam uh, in the uh, uh, Singrenikali Ridge Limited. So the, uh, here you see here this is the layout of the pit. This is the layout of the pit. So these are the crossers. Three crossers are there. Three belt conveyor systems are there. Three belt conveyors are there and three crossers are there. So how they do? So in Ramangundam, the depth of the mine is very high. Gradient is also very high. So depth and gradients makes dumper hull is very difficult due to high operating cost. So if the depth of the mine increases, if the gradient of the mine hull roads increases, then it is difficult for you to go for a tra uh, truck hull system or dumper hull system. So uh, cost will be very, very high if you are going for dumper haulage system in the case of deep open cast mines, in the case of steep deposits, in the case of uh, uh, high gradient hull roads. So there is therefore there is an alternate choice is there which is called your input crossing and conveying system. The alternating alternate choice is available with you which is called your input, cor input crossing and conveying system ICC where material has to be transported over a large distance where material can be transported over a large distance and a, with a greater lift with a gradient with a gradient with inclination and large distance material can be transported so this is the advantage of input crossing and conveying technology so uh, here uh, in the input crossing and conveying technology the drilled and blasted overburden is loaded by the shovels and transported by the dumpers to the crossing plant to the crosser the crossed over button is then transported by a series of conveyors into a spreader for dumping the materials so you see in this diagram this is the pit this is the mine from where the overburden material is mined and uh, drilled and blast and after that by the help of a by the help of a dumper and shovel the overburden is taken to the bell conveyor to the crosser so after the material is crossed it is loaded to the belt conveyor there are here in this mine there are three belt conveyor systems are there three belt conveyors are there series of belt conveyors are there and uh, uh, to feed the belt conveyor you are having a crossing crosser so after the material is crossed it is loaded to the dump it is loaded to the conveyors and the conveyors will carry the material for a longer distance and the material can be fielded to the spreaders and the spreader will spread the material in the overburden dump area. So this is the technology which is called your input crossing and conveying technology. So the salient features of the mine is uh, in this uh, uh, mine and there are number of coal seams are there, 10 number of coal seams are there and gradient is 1 in 3.6 or 1 in 4 depth up to 400 meter depth if you go for open cast mining then gradient will be very very high the gradient will be 1 in 4 up to a depth of 400 meter of open cast mining it is very difficult to use the dumpers for the transportation purpose because you know that at a greater depth the dumpers 
cannot lift the material to the surface because of the gradient of the whole roads. And uh, the uh, this uh, project, Ramangundam Open Cast project, is having an annual capacity of 4 million ton per annum. It is producing coal at a rate of 4 million ton per annum. And the technology used in this mine is shovel dumper combination with impede crossing and conveying technology. So you completely you cannot uh, uh, avoid the shovel and dumper for short distance. Uh, for short distance, um, these uh, dumpers can be used. Shovel will uh, load the material to the dumper and after that the dumper will carry the material uh, to the crosser after the material is crossed it will be fed to the conveyor system and after the conveyor after the material is conveyed it will be fed to the spreader and the spreader will spread the material in the reclaimed area this technology is called the in pit crossing and conveying technology and in this mine the life of the mine is 27 years so therefore they have adopted the uh, in pit crossing technology because the life is more than 25 years 27 years and here the stripping ratio is 7.73 cubic meter per ton of mineral mined so here the stripping ratio in this mine is 7.73 cubic meter of material is to be dumped is to be handled to get one ton of coal so uh, in the total uh, the project so 107.46 million ton of coal is obtained by removing 808.46 cubic meter of overburden after removing 808.46 million cubic meter of overburden you get 107.46 million ton of coal therefore the stripping ratio is 7.73 cubic meter per ton of coal and the grade of the coal is D grade coal and the uh, 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 OMS what is OMS output per man per shift OMS output per man per shift per man per shift how much they are producing that is called your OMS so per man it is planned 6.88 uh, ton of mineral is produced per person how many people are employed in the mines and on the basis of that you calculate the OMS output per man per shift whenever uh, we are we will discuss about the problems solutions then at that time I will explain you how to calculate the output per man per shift uh, in this mine it is 6.88 plant and the cost of production in this mine is uh, 1606.94 rupees per ton of mineral to get one ton of coal you are spending 1606.94 means 1607 rupees you are spending to get one ton of coal so that is the cost of production total capital outlay of the project is estimated to be at 896.32 total capital outlay of the project is rupees 896.32 uh, it may be in crores okay slope stability is a vital aspect in this project because the slopes will fail if you go deeper as final high walls will have a height up to 400 meter because you have to go up to a depth of 400 meter means the benches will fail the final pit slope will fail which need to be planned as steep for better economics so proper planning is to be done so that the slopes the slopes will remain stable the 120 meter high dumps with crossed over burden with low cohesion will pose different problems in dump stability 
which needs a comprehensive study on design, maintenance, monitoring, and stabilization all together. So, uh, since the depth of mine will, is very, very big, 400 meter depth open cast mine, it is very difficult for you to mine without considering the stability of the slopes. So, therefore, you have to go for a comprehensive study on the design, maintenance, monitoring, and stabilization of the benches. So, this is the salient sir, features of the. Sir, uh, yes. Sir, what is the sir, plant? Is the here? Plant, here. plant means uh, output per man per shift plant. Plant means uh, as per your mining plan, you want that one, suppose 100 people are employed. So, per person, you want to produce 6.88 uh, ton of coal so that is plan means plant means you as per your plan but it may not be so actually it may not come 6.88 but you have planned your annual plan your annual plan is that uh, it should be uh, one person should produce 6.88 but actually whenever you are going to calculate how much material you have produced how much coal you have produced it may not also come 6.88 or it may be more than that also. Got my point? Yes, sir. But uh, that 6.88 is the ton of coal and plant is the that significant one. We have planned about the 6.88 per yes. man. Uh, per head, this much you have planned. But whether you are achieving this or you are getting more or less, it depends on your mining condition. It may be more, it may be also less also. But this is your plan. You, you should, this is your target. Plan means target. Your target is to get this much of coal per person. And your, uh, your... Uh, that 6.88 ton, ton of coal, that ton. Yes, ton. 6 point is OMS, output per man per shift. So it is ton. Ton, here it is not written. 6.88 tons of coal per person should be produced. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So here the input crossing conveying technology diagram is given. So here just you see, so how it is being done. So after the material is crossed, after the material is crossed, then it is failed to the belt conveyor system and the belt conveyor system takes the material and feeds to the spreader and the spreader will carry the materials uh, and spread on the uh, dump yard. So uh, this is the series of equipments you are going to use in the input crossing and conveying technology. First thing I have told that the material will be drilled, blasted, overburden material will be drilled, blasted. After blasting, uh, by the help of a shovel, you load the material to the dumpers. Then dumpers will carry the material uh, and uh, feed to the crossing plant, to the crosser. After the material is crossed, it will be fed to the belt conveyor system. Then belt will carry the material for longer distance. And after that, the material will be fed to the spreader. Then the spreader's job is to spread the material uniformly on the dump pad for the reclamation of the mine. So this is the series of events carried out in the case of a in-pit crossing and conveying technology adopted in the mines. So here also you can see, uh, this is the Ramagundam open cast project how they are doing it. So uh, here, <coughs> these diagrams depict how they are conveying three belt conveyor systems are there. There are three number of belt conveyor systems, three number of uh, crossers are there. So the overburden material is crossed and conveyed to a greater distance and spread. This is the spreader, this is the spreader. This is the belt conveyor from the belt conveyor 
it is fed to the spreader and after that the spreading material the spreader will spread the material on the dump yard so uh, so that the uniform spread is carried out uniform spread so ramangunda open cast mine with the input crossing and conveying technology um, uh, is like this compacted floor slopes 2 to 3 degree towards toe of the upper deck to direct the water to the drain to avoid seepage into the dump so the there should not be any seepage in the dump otherwise uh, the dump will fail down better we provide line drains channels so that the water will not affect the dump uh, slope otherwise slope will fail down so uh, for that purpose this is the method they are using and uh, clearly in this diagram clearly in this diagram you can see these houses are the crosser house this is the crosser house this is the crosser house this is the crosser house and after crossing the material this is the well conveyor through the help of the belt conveyor the material is flowing to the required direction so this is the technology they are using and here you can see uh, spreader what is the function of the spreader so the spreader can rotate with an angle of 120 degrees the spreader can rotate at an angle of 120 degree to spread the material evenly on the dump pad Uh, otherwise if you are not going to spread it it will be uh, heaped at one place that is why it will rotate at an angle of 120 degree and spread the material evenly uh, on the uh, dump surface okay so this machine is called the spreader this is the belt conveyor this is the belt conveyor so after the material is conveyed it is fed to the spreader and the spreader will carry the materials and spread evenly on the dump yard so in singrani collieries company limited the input crossing and conveying system was introduced in ramangundam open cast to project the capacity of each crosser conveyor system the capacity of each crossing and conveying system is 1200 cubic meter per hour the capacity of the conveyor crosser is 1200 cubic meter of material can be conveyed per hour there are three such system there are three number of belt conveyor systems are there in addition to coal conveyor from open cast to project so this is the salient feature of the input crossing and conveying technology so uh, that is all about the uh, uh, input crossing technology so there is another technology used in open cast mines which is called your continuous miner technology bucket wheel excavators are used uh, in open cast mines to uh, mine the deposit continuously that is why it is called your continuous that is why it is called your continuous miner technology by using the bucket wheel excavators uh, it is now it is in navel lignite corporation uh, this method is used bucket wheel excavators are used presently being used uh, in navel uh, lignite corporation uh, so presently uh, being used in navel lignite corporation this aspect we are going to discuss in the next class uh, what is bucket wheel excavator what is a continuous mode of uh, mining uh, how this method is used uh, that is called your bucket wheel excavator we'll discuss in the next class today we have discussed all about the uh, input crossing and conveying technology you read about input crossing and conveying technology then you will come across you will come to know what is input crossing and conveying technology so why people are using the input crossing and conveying technology because whenever you go deeper whenever deep open cast mines are mined so dumpers cannot be used uh, because of the 
uh, high gradient because of the inclined road surface because of the inclined all roads dumpers cannot carry the material from the pit bottom to the surface because of the inclination of the whole roads uh, and also uh, whenever you are going to use the dumpers diesel cost is very very high cost of diesel is very very high so for that reason people are searching for other methods of transportation and uh, the other method of transportation is your belt conveyor system which is very very cheap because it can be operated electrically and it can be also operated um, in a high gradient and in vertical uh, in high gradient from a deeper open cast mine so that is why the inpit crossing technology has come into uh, the mines uh, so if you are going to use the inpit crossing and conveying technology so uh, you need a dumper uh, for short distance a shovel to load the um, after drilling after blasting after the drilling then you have to blast the overburden after blasting for short distance movement uh, a dumper will be used and dumper will be filled up by the shovel and the dumper will take the material and uh, uh, filled to the crosser the crosser will uh, cross the material to the required size after that it will be fed to the belt conveyor system then belt conveyor will carry the material for a longer distance uh, and uh, it will be filled to the uh, spreader and the spreader will spread the material in the dump yard so this is the sequence of activities carried out in the case of in pit and conveying techno in pit crossing and conveying technology so next class we'll discuss about continuous minor technology by using the bucket wheel excavators thank you for listening have a nice day have a good day thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you